And dear Terex community, welcome to our weekly crypto news and market update video. And this week we saw first of all local highs and then huge price plunges in the market and Bitcoin dipped below 43k. How you can see resistance building and then it went steep and fast downwards. So what happened is that we lost the psychology 50k level. We talked about it in our newsletters and videos and all in all there was an analyst that said 49,500 is a point of no return and if we should break this to the downside we can easily see 44k and this as well happened. On top we filled a CMA futures gap which are likely often filled and so real volume on the selling wall as well. This is what traders in Bitcoin not often facing but when they are facing it's quite hard and this is what we saw. So Bitcoin went steeply down due to Bitcoin weights pushed the sell button due to a lot of Bitcoins are in the profit. So here it was just profit taking by whales. A new blockchain platform aims to track one third of all shipping containers globally. Quite interesting what's happening here. So the global shipping business network now launching a new blockchain based platform to um, track um, shipping containers. Quite interesting is that this, that this consortium is working together with Oracle, Microsoft Azure, Anchain and Alibaba Cloud. So quite big players are in here and to choose this it choose a best of breed approach to technology to ensure the infrastructure is strong, reliable and highly scalable. All in all here it's visible what is possible when you think the blockchain correctly and what we can see here is that now within a few months, a third of the international globally shipping containers can be tracked via blockchain. And if this can be rolled out to um, track all the containers, this would be a huge adoption for the blockchain technology. Cardano launched a new smart contract program or they fulfilled a hard fork and finish the Alondo protocol. Quite interesting now that there are smart contracts available on Cardano and now this is where the mission truly begins. Um, we start delivering on the vision we all have been working towards for so long. So everything before seems to be just working for this target and now it's going live. High expectation resting on this upgrade and now devs are um, easily programmable via Cardano. Quite interesting um, to see what will happen long term. Due to now there is uh, like Ethereum a possibility due to dApps and stuff like this and it needs to be seen uh, in the future how this is having impact on the Cardano price but now what is here visible is that Cardano fanboys, how Anthony Bassano said, are now finally discovering what is possible and what not. So quite interesting to see what will happen here, but a next step for Cardano for sure. The market, how you may saw and how you may thought, down to digits nearly in all assets. Just Solana had uh, a positive momentum this week. All the other tokens and coins are down to digits and this as well leading us to a negative market cap starting with 2.361 trillion now hanging quite low above 2 trillion so a negative movement of around 13 percent on a weekly basis taking a look on bitcoin um, not a lot to say we thought that we here build a resistance very close below 40 uh, 53k and then we had this deep downward trend building down here is support that we tested a few hours ago at 44,300. So this is the whole negative movement within one week around 16%. We lost this support around here. So the 50K line, uh, how you as well saw in the news and then the market dumped within two hours, nearly 10%. So quite interesting how hard this market went down and then we build it a consolidation phase with a local resistance at around 47,400 and a local low at 44,4. So all in all, we had now here a six days movement where really nothing happened in the market. How you saw the max volatility from the highest to the lowest point is around six or six percent, and we are quite near the lowest point. So within six days, the market is in consolidation phase. If we are not gaining momentum back to 46 or even 47k this could lead to next sell-offs and then we will test 42k most likely 
But let's see what's happening if we think about bottoming out. The positive momentum could keep the market in this consolidation phase and then gaining new momentum. I hope you liked this video. If you do so, I would love if you would comment, like or share this video. And we will see you next time when it comes to weekly crypto news and market update provided by T-Rox.